Okay, so today on the Hoon Win series, we had the Cape Buffalo go against the Tijongasaurus. Let's start the Cape Buffalo. The Cape Buffalo is from Africa. Yeah. And it's a bovine. And they can be up to, and they can be up to four to five feet tall. And weigh up to 1,300 pounds and can be up to 8.3 feet long. Let's go to the Tijongasaurus. Tijongasaurus live in the Jurassic period and in the Shaqiyuma Formation in the Sichuan Province in China. It is 6.6 .6 feet in height, weigh 3 tons or 6,200 pounds, was 23 feet long. And, um, yeah, that's it. So let's go to their weapons. Let's get into everything. So the Tijanga source is pretty much taller, taller, heavier, and longer. Let's go into the weapons. Horns versus spikes. And tail spikes. Cape Buffalo horns are can be up to can be big, two to three feet long. Used for stabbing and ramming into the opponents. While the, the Tijongasaurus has a stagomizer or ta or tail spikes, which can, use to, which can deliver fatal and severe blows to, to his opponents. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Edge goes to the edge goes to the Tijongasaurus since of, since of, since the Tijongasaurus has more range. Now there are X factors. The Cape Buffalo has pretty tough skin, while the well, the Tijongasaurus, I mean, it has skin, tough skin, but not as tough as the Cape Buffalo. And, but it lacks that tough skin, and it makes up for its spikes on its back. It's a tie here. Now let's go to the speed. The Cape Buffalo is a lot faster than the more heavier Tijongasaurus. Now the Tijongasaurus is stronger. Cape Buffaloes are a little smarter than the Tijongasaurus, and they're a lot more aggressive, but the Tijongasaurus is a lot more defensive. So let's get on to the fight. They're both 40 feet away from each other, and they're both in bloodlust mode. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me there. Anyway, the Cape Buffalo charge, the more faster Cape Buffalo charges, but the but the Tijongasaurus readies his tail. As the Cape Buffalo charges, he gets whacked in the face. He didn't see it because he was blinded with rage. And now blood is spilling all over his face and dripping down on the arena. I'm dripping down the arena floor. The, the buffalo steps back a few few steps and circles around the Tijongasaurus, but the Tijongasaurus keeps his guard up. The, the Cape Buffalo charges unexpectedly, and the horns stab the Tijongasaurus' side, which makes which is unexpected and makes the Tijongasaurus fall over. The Cape Buffalo gores the Stegosaur, but the Tijongasaurus quickly like kicks the kicks the, the the bovine's face, but it isn't doing much. Then it tries to get up, but one of its spikes hits the hits the cape buffalo in the face, which makes the cape buffalo move back a bit and, and makes it stop goring the Tijongasaurus. The Tijongasaurus makes one more tail slap at the cape buffalo, and one of the spikes hits the, the cape buffalo's jugular. When the Tijongasaurus lets go of the cape buffalo, the cape buffalo drops down the floor, dead. The Tijongasaurus 
groans in victory and tries to, tries to escape. I say 90, 90, no, yeah, no, 89% of the, 89% of this battle goes to the Tijongasaurus. So yeah, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. Bye.